Right then guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Toon Tuesdays, your weekly roundup of Newcastle United news. I hope you guys are all doing good. The big news is that Newcastle don't have a game this weekend. It is international break. Newcastle actually have a 17 day break between our loss against Everton on Thursday and our next game, which is on the 4th of April against Spurs. But although there is no game to talk about, there is still plenty of news, mostly so that Eddie Howe and the lads have head off to Dubai for some warm weather training. I'm not sure why, to be honest, because it's lovely and sunny in Newcastle for a change. Except I do know why, and that's because Eddie Howe spoke about it in an interview today, where he basically said, not only is it the warm weather that's great about heading out to Dubai, but it's also the facilities that they've got there. Eddie Howe has been there a number of times himself, and he basically said the facilities out there are fantastic. Um, a brilliant training pitch along with the um, cryotherapy chamber, which apparently the lads all absolutely loved. I did feel, was it a slight dig on the fact that Newcastle don't have the greatest uh, training facilities that we all already know? Um, but again, you know, the owners are, are actively looking into that. They're, they are actively looking for a plot of land to put a brand new training centre of excellence um, so it's not that we're not working on it. So I wouldn't maybe say it was a dig. It was more just of a comment on the fact that they're not great. But we all hope they're going to be upgraded very soon. And in that interview, Eddie Howe spoke about a number of different things, which I thought would be a great way to kind of structure today's video. Uh, he spoke about the fact that, yes, they want to go out there. They want to train and work hard. But he also spoke about the fact that it's a great chance to really let the lads take a bit of a break as well. Um, obviously, the uh, schedule got very congested. We actually played three away games in a week, which is going to be tough for any team. So, as I say, I think he's taken it as a bit of a bit of both, a bit of team team building, a bit of team bonding, um, a break away from it all. But also, the main thing is to to work hard. You know, out there in this training camp, ready for that Spurs game coming back. He was asked as to whether the loss against Everton had changed any of the preparations or any of the training plans while out in Dubai and he actually said no, that it wouldn't. All of the training was pre-planned so nothing physically would change but he did say that perhaps emotionally things might be a little bit different. He actually said that he takes losing personally and I just think, you know, when you're coming off a win or coming off a high into a training camp, there'll be a lot of a buzz. I think coming off two losses in a row, particularly the way that we lost the Everton game, I think we'll give maybe a little bit more bite to this to this training camp and really will put, hopefully, you know, a little bit of extra oomph into what they need to do to come back and play a very tough Spurs game. And as I say, leads into three home games in a row as well. We then play Wolves at home, Leicester at home, Crystal Palace at home, then Norwich away. Those are the four big games for me that we really want to be picking up some points because again, the fixtures, the fixtures turn after that. It then goes into Liverpool, Man City, Arsenal with Burnley last game of the season. So yeah, I think... This training camp is important. Eddie Howe has clearly taken it very seriously from what he said in his interview. And we're hoping they're going to come back better, bigger, stronger than ever. Something Eddie Howe also spoke about in the interview was injury updates. He spoke about the fact that obviously uh, Callum Wilson has gone out there on the training camp and that he is on schedule to return as planned. He spoke about Kieran Trippier and Isaac Hayden as well. Again, Trippier returning as planned. He said that neither would necessarily be returning early. Um, and he didn't really give an exact date. To be honest, from what I've heard, and again, Eddie Howe said that obviously they were very serious injuries and both required operations. Um... The time span given on both of them was kind of end of the season. So to be honest, I think we will be, um, it will be great to see either of them in a black and white shirt on the pitch again before the end of the season. And hopefully we will. Um, but obviously Eddie Howe didn't really want to overpromise on anything right now. I've just mentioned Isaac Hayden there. Um, obviously not part of the 25-man squad. And Eddie Howe didn't address this directly. But some of you eagle-eyed fans might have already seen this from the photos on Twitter and the website. That Isaac Hayden, Kieran Clark, 
and Jamal Lewis have all made their way out there, despite not being part of the 25-man squad, have gone out to Dubai with the side to take part in the training camp. And obviously that's got a few fans asking a few questions. Does Eddie Howe believe in second chances? Is there still a way in for these guys? Could they possibly be considered for... Um, summer training followed by a, a place in the 25-man squad come next season. Obviously, I want you guys to let me know your thoughts down below. I think it's different depending on which player you're talking about. I think Eddie Howe's just being clever, to be honest. He spoke about the fact that, yes, it's a go about going out there and working hard, but he also spoke about team building and togetherness of the side. He also went into the fact that, you know, Lascelles has spoken openly on the fact that during COVID, it was really tough to have any kind of team building and bonding, which, to be honest, I think we would all cre credit Eddie Howe as being a, a point of, of the key success that we've kind of had as a squad since he's kind of got here. The togetherness, the fighting for each other out on the pitch. It's not every man for himself. Lascelles spoke about the fact that during COVID, you trained individually and you basically met up for a game for 90 minutes on a weekend and no one really knew each other. There was no real friendships there. Again, I think he's being smart about it. He knows that Clark, um, Hayden and Jamal Lewis will be friends with players in the squad. He doesn't want to exclude people. And I think he's also being clever in terms of he doesn't know what's going to happen next. You know, to have him available should there be um, an injury um, coming into like the next season or whatever, it just makes sense to take them, I think, is, is my view on it. But if you think it's because they're in with a shout of sticking around a little bit longer, I think Hayden is. I think Jamal Lewis may be. I wouldn't think Clark is. Something that's been quite a big talking point in the Newcastle community over the last few weeks is St. Maximan and the criticism that he's been receiving to the point where he's been linked away to Liverpool and Chelsea and people are even asking the question as to whether he will be part of the plans for the owners into the summer and next season. And as much as I understand the criticism to a degree you know he does lose the ball probably more than would like him to and he doesn't pass the ball probably as much as would like him to for me he's still if not our best player he's up there um he is a, he's a flair player you know he makes things happen and those kind of players are probably going to lose the ball a little bit more than you want but for me he, he has to be part of of the plans going forward. And let's not forget, you know, he has been suffering with an injury. He has been coming on for bit parts as a substitute because he hasn't been fully fit. I think that is probably part of the reason he hasn't been playing his best football. And he has actually come back and posted a few things on social media, one of which is an Instagram post saying, people forget quickly, but I know what to do to restore their memory. So I think that's possibly a little bit of a dig at the fans as well to kind of say, yeah, I can hear you. I'm going to show you what I can do now, which in a way... <laughs> is what I want to see, you know, I, I want to see what he can do, I want to see him back out there at his best, creating and scoring goals, and he's also posted videos of himself training, running on a treadmill, um, in the gym, working hard, and uh, yeah, for me, I think he's a, he's a big part of this team, you know, he was here before the takeover happened, I want to see him rewarded, I want to see him come out and play some good football, um, yeah, for, for years to come, you know, not just the rest of this season, and I definitely don't want to see him leave in the summer. And a bit of good news to end the video as well. Chris Wood became New Zealand's all-time record goal scorer last night with a brace against Fiji, taking his tally to 30 goals for New Zealand. So big up to Chris Wood. Let's hope you can put a few more in the net for Newcastle as well. All right, guys, thank you for watching. As always, drop a like, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on everything discussed in today's video. I've got another really good video planned for tomorrow night, I think is the plan. So if you're not subscribed already, be sure to do so and get those notifications on. I won't spoil what it is, but it is Newcastle related and I think you're going to like it. All right, so thank you for watching. As always, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.